So after a bidding war between Paramount and Universal Pictures uh, for the rights to adapt the upcoming Leonardo da Vinci bio novel biography, I don't need to see bio novel, uh, <laughs> that will be written by Walter Isaacson. It has finally been decided that Paramount has the rights and they have their first big star on board. That would be Leonardo DiCaprio. This so, is disappointing, Brian. How is this disappointing? Because had Universal got in it, it could have been in their Universal Monster Universe. Ooh, <laughs> Think about actually... Da Vinci in the Monster. Just because, Dude, why not? In, why not? Replace, replace Van Helsing with Da Vinci, and you got a movie. You have got a movie. I would watch that movie. My butt would be in that seat. That's for sure. I would say Universal. You can send us a check, but you lost the rights to the movie, so I guess that's not um, happening. No check. No check coming this way. But yeah, so Leonardo DiCaprio will be playing Leonardo da Vinci in this upcoming biopic. Uh, and so let's just start breaking some things down. Now, first of all, this is going to be based on the book written by Walter Isaacson. Now, this book hasn't actually come out yet. It actually doesn't come out until October, so I don't even know if the book's any good. Uh, so that makes basing a movie off of a book that probably most people haven't read all the way through uh you know a little iffy but Walter you also Isaacson, don't know if it's going to be a popular book whether it's going to be a hit with audience or not i mean you figure you have a good writer but who knows now walter isaacson wrote uh the steve jobs biography that was adapted into the movie jobs i believe that had uh, michael fassbender in it i believe it had some academy awards come its way so so he's got the pedigree for making a good biography so th i think that's why they jumped on so early is they're like all right this guy knows what he's doing when it comes to biographies uh, let's jump on board let's let's sail let's tie ourselves to that ship and, and see where it takes us so that's that's the first now but again it's off of a book that hasn't even been released so that's neither here nor there um and then you have leonardo dicaprio who apparently the stories are now that this has come out i read it in a couple places that he was apparently named after leonardo da vinci when his mother was walking by a painting by leonardo da vinci and felt him kick in the womb and she said okay well he's gonna be a leonardo well DiCaprio. he's already, yeah i mean their names are already fairly similar. Yeah, Con Da Vinci, DiCaprio. I mean, Leonardo's <laughs> both. Of them. Leonardo. Well, that's he. He was named yeah, after. Leonardo, I'm just saying. So. The, I'm saying that makes sense. So their their names are. Yeah. That, yeah. It, it all works. adds up. It works. Um, and now Leonardo DiCaprio is no stranger to the biopic, or at least based on true stories or events, mm -hmm. uh, movies. He did that in The Revenant that was based on true events, Wolf of Wall Street about Jordan Belfort's Rise and Fall, The Aviator, of course, Howard Hughes, and then my favorite of them all, Catch Me If You Can, that did mm -hmm. that was based off of a real story. I don't know. I mean, probably pretty fictionalized, but based off of a real story. So that uh, all this is is kind of coming together to make a perfect storm. Now, I was thinking if we're going to get a biopic of Leonardo da Vinci. Now, there is what, like two years in his life where nobody knows what happened to him. Like he kind of disappeared from the scene for about two years. I can't remember those exact two years, but there was a gap in his real biography. Um, now, if it's based off the book, it's not going to focus on those two years, which I would love to see somebody fictionalize what they think happened. But with Leonardo da Vinci, there are so many other amazing things that this guy yeah. did. He is the definition of Renaissance man. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm sure they're going to have to skip over more than two years of his life. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, but no, but you know, there was that two year yeah. gap where he'd like disappeared from. I, I'm just saying if they skip again, over it, you know, they're going to have to skip over a lot of time. Because yeah, so he, he did be so right. much, like is like you're saying, so, incredible amount. So and and he had so many influential people in the Renaissance period. I want to say, uh, um, who are they? Uh, Lorenzo and uh, Medici. Oh, he he was big with Medici's. Mm -hmm. I believe he was there. Um, they were his patrons for a long, long time. So mm -hmm. let's just talk about some of the things we liked. I would love to see come from Leonardo da Vinci now. Uh, he, he was very into flying machines. I would love to see them do some sort of take on his helicopter or he invented a glider too, didn't he? He wrote designs for them. I don't know if he ever actually made them though. Any of but them? In, like, in this movie, I think it'd be really cool if they showed him trying to build these actual designs so, and them failing. Well, so and you like want the them to, uh, is, a, do you think they're going to do more the, the more fictionalized version of, um, to make things more exciting, or do you think they're going to try and be a little bit right. Right. closer to home? I mean, obviously, it, it's a movie, and yeah. um, there's only so much you can uh, show and be exciting with 
with that format. Within two though. hours and stuff. So I guess yeah, you're right. They probably won't focus on the things that he never completed. They'll probably focus on mostly his works of art, uh, especially the Mona Lisa, The Last Supper. There's a lot of those. Uh, his first initial sketches of the human body, you know, you've everybody's yeah. seen it with like the arms and oh. legs going out and everything. And he really had a lot of advances in the science of anatomy, uh, just himself, in the way he... A lot of sciences, yeah. But well, a lot of sciences. Oh yeah, I mean uh, alchemy. Not alchemy. That's the wrong word for it. Um, Might have been alchemy, but a lot of the the old physicists uh, did dabble in. Like Newton was known for dabbling yeah. in alchemy and things like that, or, or what they called alchemy, which turns out to, at least with some of them, was uh, fairly chemistry. Yeah, it was it was like That's chemistry. What I meant to say was chemistry, but, but they were trying to do things sorry. that chemists don't usually try to do, <laughs> and yeah. turn lead into gold. Or just turn things into other things, and sometimes it was useless things. But hey, they they did it <laughs> sometimes. Hey, hey, I can just change this piece of fabric into this rock. I mean, that's an accomplishment, I guess. Yeah. Doesn't or I mix these few things together, and I get this purple oozing substance. That's hey, that's a oozing. thing. Everybody needs a good purple oozing substance every now and then. But there is just a, a wealth of possibilities. I mean, because, again, he was in, he was such an influential character in such an influential time of the world, which was the Renaissance period. I mean, especially what was coming out of Venice uh, still to this day reverberates the art, the, the culture, mm -hmm. everything we kind of had come out of it. And so it, it'll be really cool to see how this goes. Now, again, he was with the Medici. Uh, I probably said the wrong names, but there was a lot of turmoil going on with those guys. Yeah. That was before they started becoming popes, if I'm correct. Um, and they were still just the bankers of Venice. And so that's going to be a very interesting backstory. Well, and I thought um, one of the things that Da Vinci really credited himself with more than his art was um, being a military strategist or or invent mil maybe a weapons inventor or something of that nature something military I related i thought he he yeah. actually i think uh, he made using... improvements on the basic yeah. m basic gun i mean back then was just kind of a you know you stick some gunpowder throw some metal objects and shoot um so i think he did some things with that i think he had some initial like cannon improvements as well he mm. invented his own like prototype tank i believe as well it was like a turtle shell with yeah. a couple cannons and you would pedal along um to make it move so he did yeah i mean militarily speaking and especially like i was saying that was a very tumultuous time uh in 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 especially in italy because there was the papal states there was the roman state i mean there was all these different it, it wasn't italy was not united as we know it today it was a bunch of city states kind of spread out and so they got into fights with each other a lot mm -hmm. didn't like each other too much lots of uh different influences um yeah yeah but it'd be interesting to see them take that angle and in fact i would kind of like to see them take if they take an angle not so much focused on his artwork, which we mostly know him by now, but really focusing on all the, the other aspects. I mean, I'd actually now prefer are, them to put yeah. that as a backstory. The artwork. Yeah, I, I do too. Cause I think that wasn't even his necessarily his main focus in his life. He did all this other stuff that would, mm -hmm. that he cared about more. And I, people have caught on to his um, inventiveness and his prowess in sciences. So, there is a room for that that people would be very interested in that um most people don't talk about his, his military um influence and other things but this guy did so much they can go in so many directions and they may be the I, in fact that might be a danger of trying to fit everything in is in, yeah. do do you just focus on his early life for instance do you try to show everything how much can you do and this guy was doing so much and he mm -hmm. was someone cuz he was someone that thought yeah. that um he was someone that thought that he didn't have enough time to finish everything that he wanted he to do. Um, so. But so he crammed as much into his, into, you know, however many years, decades of his life that he had, it's going to be really hard to cram mm -hmm. in a story about it into a couple hours. Yeah. So, but this is a story that I think we, we all know Leonardo da Vinci's name. Uh, and, but I'm afraid that most people just think of him from like the stupid book, the da Vinci code. I mean, a lot of people love that book. So I'm sorry if you love that book, but uh, it, it's just, it's not who he really was. That is a fictionalized that it's like, Oh, he put all these Easter eggs and all his stuff. No, his life work wasn't built up to this. It was, it was so much more than, you know, just one aspect of, mm. of, of, 
it wasn't just art. It wasn't just science. It wasn't just invention. It was all of those put together and the way he molded all those together and really fed off of everything, every one of those. Uh, I mean, he would not probably as good be a good of an inventor if he was not as good of an artist because he was able to visualize in his brain and conceptualize on paper, you know, and, and that's a very rare talent. And I, I, again, he is the definition of a Renaissance man. I, I don't know if that phrase was made exactly for him, but it should have been if it wasn't. So I'm really excited uh, to see this movie whenever it's coming out. It's going to be far down the road. They haven't even started production. Like I said, the the film, the, the studio the book is just, not done. Uh, got the rights. Yeah, uh, they don't have a writer. The book's not out. There's no director attached. Nothing is attached uh, except for Leonardo DiCaprio. But that is uh, as about as good of a sign as I can imagine having Leonardo DiCaprio attached to your movie because he does not make bad movies at least not lately all. like yeah i guess you could probably go way his back early his career yeah i had had a couple right, bad yeah, ones fair, but, fair but, but that was early his, career early career you gotta yeah. excuse those so so i'm excited to see it but hit us up let us know what one invention do you want them to really focus on uh, with Leonardo, within Leonardo DiCaprio's life, Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo da Vinci's life, my apologies. Uh, <laughs> both. Put it down in comments down below. <laughs> both, both. What, what did Leonardo DiCaprio invent that you really love? But put it down in comments down below. Of course, hit us up at wordsmyface.com, wordsmyface on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook. Always good ways getting a hold of us. 